Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discussing about and another topic that is a PyTest fixes with the decorator. And in my previous video, you can able to see the fixes and all right, how we can able to use for setup functions and tear down functions at the model level and functional level. These are the two concepts and also how we can able to integrate like install a PyTest and how we can able to create the function and what is the difference between the function and uh, how we can able to create any rules about that. This is all the topic we discussed into my previous video, correct? <clears throat> now the similar format I'm going to, uh, we are going to see for another topic that is uh, fixes with the decorator. Okay, fixes with decorator. For this again, I'm going to create for another file that is a Python <clears throat> test underscore fixers. Okay, and this fixes I'm going to working now. Okay, how we can able to use the fixes then you can able to here at the rate PyTest. If I use the PyTest, it will ask you to input and you can directly import or else you can uh, uh, mouse over and you can import it. A anything is okay. <clears throat> PyTest. Okay, then you can use for fixes. And you can define setup. In the previous video, we saw one different format, right? The similar format we are going to use here as well, okay? And here, <clears throat> we can see if you mouse over into this fixes, right? It will give you for documentation. The fixes, it is expecting for scope, okay? Scope, it will expect it. What scope it will expect it? There is a one session or package or module or class or function. These are all the things it will expect it. Okay, what kind of uh, function like features you are going to take. That is a scope you need to use. Or else you can able to use for parameter also. In the parameter you can pass for what type of parameter you want. IDS, the sequence of numbers, uh, the string name, what type of fixes function mark you want. The marks also will go into display. Okay, this is a decorator. <clears throat> okay, this is a decorator. This is a decorator fixes in the function. Okay, the decorator can be used with a without parameter to defining the fixes definitions. The name of the fixes function can later to be referenced to causes its a inconvenient head of running tests. You can able to test the module level or class level, or you can able to use for use fixes. There is another method. That is a use fixes. This will learn into a next chapter or this one or else next chapter also I'll explain you. Okay. Use feature how it will work out. Okay. You can use a fixes or use fixes. We can able to anyone we can able to take it. And also the fixes can be provided to returning like eld statement also. When you use a yield can be blocked after eld statement. It is execute the tear down core regardless. Like tear down, we are used in my previous video, right? <clears throat> Here tear down we use, right? The similar format, this eld fixes will can be work the similar format. Okay, tear down format it will work. You can use that and you can able to like set up and tear down both the cases in the one place we can able to use. But you have to specify the scope, which like a module level or functional level. We created module level and functional level, right? The similar format you have to create here also the scope, which is a module level or functional level. Okay, first we'll create a scope and a double quotation I'm going to use for module. Okay, and here I'm going to use for <clears throat> setup module level. Okay. Then again, we have for eld, okay? Eld, it required for return statement also, we can keep it, or else we can directly use some code also. Tier down module level, okay? <clears throat> and we even, we created a functional level, right? 
we can call it the center code now i'm copying here and the scope we can enable to use for function function level okay but you should not use the same here how you are going to use right similar format you should not use for this i'm going to use for before okay before is a function name i'm going to use for ld same ld can able to use no problem okay setup function level and tear down also function level okay both the cases we used okay this is the format we can able to decorate that one okay now if i want to create any function define add sorry test underscore add user is my function okay and here i'm going to show a def sorry <clears throat> print user is added it will ask you some ignore this kind of things <clears throat> okay but why it is uh, like how we can able to if i run now whether it will work or not we'll see okay now again i'm going to here now clear and here i'm going to use for here test features okay and if i run now you can see it is run for test added user user is added only one but two deselected only one selected why it is not added right but previous without anything it is run we can directly run it will it is called for set up for functional level and module level both the cases it is called without any calling this is a way right but why here means we are used for decorator right for the decorator what we need to use now if i want to use setup for module level then you can need to use for here setup okay which is the one this setup i provided here in a for uh, function place okay functions parameter type okay now you can see here now again i'm running <clears throat> so now here module level and tier down module level is there and user is there but still it is showing for to is miss selected okay but if i want to use for here again before also i'll use okay comma i separated for comma and i used now you can see <clears throat> now again still there is a two unselectors are presented but there is a two unselected because that is a uses like there is a fixes that's why it is not showing okay but i want to use a different format there is one while we mouse over it is showed for there is another one that is called here pytest mark use fixes right that is a one it is showed then how it will work for that right <clears throat> now again i'm going to call this particular one i'm going to call it now here what i can do right <clears throat> at the rate by test there is a mark sorry dot mark and dot use fixes and the use fixes we can able to call it in the double quotation double quotation setup comma and again double quotation before okay <clears throat> now you can remove here okay now again i'm going to run here now see the same thing it is working without any issue also okay and here uh, if you want to use a marker in the different format also like the only marker you want to like uh, you want to create like uh, sorry uh, what you can able to see uh, you want to create some uh, a uh, regression if you want to create some uh, specific function name that also we can able to use functional testing or non functional testing like how we can able to like right 
the fixer setup and downs are presented, but you want to specify the mark by using the mark. <clears throat> you need to create a functional testing or regression testing or sanitary testing or smoke testing. What this kind of things means the group of test cases, if you are going to define and if you are going to call that particular uh, regression, it will run for all the things. What are the regression kind of files you declared the decorator? Based upon the decorator, it will run for all the files. Means all the functions it will run. <clears throat> Correct. Then we can able to group that particular sanity test you want to run. Uh, tomorrow is release. Once it is released, done. I need to check for sanity check in a release time after completion of the release. And before release, I want to check for sanity to all the fields like all the functionality and application, whether it is working as expected or not. How we can able to use? We can able to call it as a mark functions okay you can call it this one and you can <clears throat> now you can at the rate by test dot mark dot <coughs> you can use for sanity okay the similar format i'm going to use for Here regression I'll use. And here I can provide for one and also user one. Okay. Now I want to run only for regression. If you have a hundred files, in a hundred files, hundred functions are presented. In the hundred, you declare 50 test cases as mark regression. That regression 50 test cases you want to run. Then how we can able to use, right? And here we can able to remove up to here and in double quotation or single quotation also you could <clears throat> specify for regression, which is the tag you provided in this, right? The similar format we need to use. Enter. Now you can see, but it is providing for some exceptions, right? It is provided for some exception like uh, <clears throat> Oh, where it is that? Here's some warning. Unknown PyTest mark sanity. Means sanity and regression is unknowns are presented. But you want to uh, register for that particular decorators. Until that, that warnings will not be going up. If you copy this particular one, in case it will work or not, we'll see. The documentation should be presented. See here the fixes registration is there. Registration fixes and you can able to use a PyTest INI. That is the name you need to save your file. Okay, I'm going to copy this particular information and again I'm going to create the project location. Minimizing this one. In the project location I'm going to create for one Py. And here python.ini. Okay, my INI is presented. What I want to do now? I want to register my file markers i want to register my own markers that is this one okay and i'm copying these two lines of code and i'm pasting here no okay and here we need to move over and we need to import that particular one okay then we need to use for two fixes that is called sanity why it is taken as py <clears throat> file python ini if you want you can add ini file in the plugins no need no need to bother about it it will install for ins Okay, just I'm installing. Okay, just to use for this marker. Oh, where is that? INI. And then enter. And here you can use for <clears throat> sanity. Sanity. 
and then again you can use for regression okay again regression both the cases i installed it okay now i saving and i'm going to delete this particular file because i created like a python file but you need to clear it for pytest iphan ini file format okay now the same file again i'm going to oh, run in a terminal <clears throat> unexpected line of pi test oh sorry now you can see previous it is shown for some warnings now there is no warning now okay previous it is warning is there now we register for the particular things okay how we can like how we can able to create for useful fixes with the decorators and how we can able to create a register for user defined markers right these two things we saw right in our next video sessions how we can able to skip our test case and also how we can able to parameterize our markers in a marker there is a parameterized concept and that and also we can able to see for assertions soft assertion and hard assertion how we can able to use for these two concept like three concepts we'll see into a next video session time okay thank you for watching subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you